The gala is special because it makes ladies look elegant. Gala is a symbol of beauty. It just enhances a woman. It makes you beautiful. Gala is a very unique style of headwear. It's called the queen of head ties. Yeah, even if you don't have your makeup done and you have your gala tie, it's still going to look elegant, it's still going to look beautiful. People wear gala's, you know, when they go to party, to celebrate, and you want to look grand. Gala is important because it's a part of tradition. It's something that's been going on for years and years and years. I think people are attracted to the gala not because of the beauty or the fashion element, but because of the culture. You know, it's said that Nigerian women are not complete in their traditional wear without a gala on. Gala is actually a Yoruba word for a tie. Other tribes also have different names for it, but we've got other tribes in Nigeria. We've got Igbo, we've got Aousa, we've got Ibibio and all that. Even Igbo will tell you they kind of invented Gele. So I'm not going to lie, I don't know where it originated from, but like I said, it is a Nigerian culture, so it came from back home basically. I'm not really sure where it originated from, but it's been in existence since ages. It's always been part of African attire. When people tie rapper, that's the role. And where Buba, they've obviously got to complement it with Gele. It's really ingrained in Yoruba society. And in some parts of Nigeria, in Ogun State, for example, when women become a grandparent for the first time, they have this white gele, which they dye purple, and that signifies the fact that they've become a grandparent. We're having Gele Tea, which is a couture fashion show. It's based on the Gele, which is a Nigerian head tie. It's based on afternoon tea. And then we're talking about dementia. The lady who inspired Yinka to do it was Yinka's mother-in-law, who had dementia. And this is a lady who used to be really involved in Gele fabrics. It was a question of how we could raise awareness, specifically in BME communities. So we know that dementia doesn't discriminate, but it was very important to give a voice to people who were sometimes excluded. And that's how Gele Tea came about. Treating people or dealing with people who have dementia, always remember them for who they are, not what they are at the moment. All of you, every year you have come here and supported Yinka, and you haven't taken a penny, you haven't, you know, all the models, everything is done just to raise awareness for dementia. I have brought my children, I have encouraged other children, let us start talking about it. And I think that's got to be the mantra. Thank you. Gele is rising. Wherever you go, you see it. And it's really exciting to find and see that in the UK, the culture is still very much there and is very, very strong. I think that's because you have people who came here in the 60s who maintain that tradition and were very proud of who they were and who they are, that they pass that on to their children. And more so now, there is this excitement about Africa. You know, as I said, Africa is rising and so again younger people are beginning to embrace the gele. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey 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 thank you Baba. My name's Stephanie Adiemi. I'm getting married today to the love of my life. This is my traditional Nigerian wedding ceremony and you know this is a part of what we do. Uh, that's why I'm wearing my traditional attire. It's more about the parents rejoicing about their children getting married. I think that because I'm half Nigerian, half Austrian, sometimes people don't expect me to fully embrace my Nigerian culture. So I feel like now I'm proper taking part and I don't know, I just want to show everyone and my fiance's family that I love Nigerian culture and yet yeah, this is me. 
we all just like to look good. You know, I feel like when you have your gele, you sort of show off. Like, you look nice, you look grand. And all my friends, some of them are from India, from England, and they're all really excited to wear it. My gele, my uh, mother-in-law got for me, and my fiancé was saying that, you know, it's tradition that your mother-in-law um, gets it. Um, I think, she, well, she got it from Nigeria. I'm not sure exactly where, but I think in Lagos. For my changeover, I've got a gele for that one, and then for my actual white wedding day. That one I got from Liverpool Street, from a lady that you interviewed. <laughs> Basically, there's a different variety of head ties out there. You've got normal head ties, Jubilee, Haze, those are the very, very popular ones. And then you've got the Sago. And then you have the Asha, okay, for the traditional Nigerian Yoruba head ties. Here I have a Sago head tie. Um, Sagos are very, very long, so basically it's double the length of here. This is a hand-woven silk Asha, okay. This is a bridal one. Usually our bridal ones, they've got details like beading, pearl. They're usually more expensive than the normal ones, but the beauty will show. And when you wear it on that day, it's just, they're just gonna look like a princess. Oh, Fabrics come from a variety of places. In our shop, we try to stock majority Swiss and Austrian laces. Sometimes we get some materials from Korea and sometimes we get some materials from China. We get a lot of stuff from Nigeria as well. We get our brocades from Germany. We get some stuff from Dubai. Just different, different places. My name is Olome Ifebe Atano. I'm the manager of this um, business and this has been going on for the past 15 years. We enjoy doing it because we love people to be beauty. This place is very good for African fabric because it's been known from back home. Even before I was born, people know this is where they can get any kind of material, any kind of fabric that Nigerians use or Africans use. The Jews are the originator of this uh, business in uh, Petico Lane. Uh, I think they started in 1930 and then they, they run it for a very long time before the Indians came over in 1970 and since then the majority now is Nigeria. The business is being brought back to Africa so things is running differently. Our shop is set up for us by our mother, but me and my sister were taking over it. At the time when my mom set it up, it wasn't actually a big demand. It's grown into a big demand, it's like the African fabrics. Before, there only used to be a few little shops and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, people started to realize that there's actually a business in it, that people can make money. Like, people do need people to dress them. My business name is Labold. I'm the Gilly Actors. Yeah, that is what I'm doing today. I love Gilly, I love makeup. I started with makeup and I, I learned Gilly because I'm, I, I, just, I just love the act of it. It's quite popular for people to go to parties with their Gilly because the celebrant will have, will have contacted um, Gilly Actors to come to the venue, say Gilly for our guests. I learned to make up as, at first and I realized a lot of my clients were asking for gele. They wanted me to do the gele as well. So I had to go and learn the gele. I learned a particular style, which was in vogue at that time. But as time goes on, different styles were coming, were coming out and I had to like keep up with it, you know, get more trainings, get updated. All the new styles normally start from Nigeria and they kind of um, bring it over here. And um, the ladies back here, they like to keep up what is going happening back home. 
Total me see that job. Yeah, these days, young people even, they even uh, into it as well because they, they, they see the beauty of it. They see all the people doing it and they kind of like it. Even during wedding ceremony, even uh, during bridal party and all that, they all kind of just want their hair to be tied. Well, I think, especially in this generation, I think a lot of us are trying to embrace our culture, embrace African culture, and I don't know, just show everybody else what we've got to give, and that, you know, African culture is a wonderful thing, and that, you know, it's vibrant, it's exciting. What shall I say? The future of the Gale in the UK is endless it's like wearing a pair of shoes you know it's going to be there always wherever nigerians may go so the gale will go and it will evolve all i have to say is thank you lord thank you thank you bye let you marry thank you thank you baba tota some of you tennis Thank you, Lord. Hey, hey. Where's your dance? I won't make you dance so. Oh. Dance like you never danced before, like David dance. Make we dance so, oh, my beautiful baby. Yo, oh. we go bump picking, we go bump man, we go bump woman. What shall I say? Until the Lord. Until the Lord. Say, say.